Okay guys, let's get started. First we're going to be using the NYX Photo Loving Primer. I'm just taking a small dot and applying it all over my face for smooth application and longer lasting makeup. The next product we're going to be using is the NYX Color Correcting Palette. The first shade that I'm going to be using is the green shade. I'm going to use it to cover any acne or redness underneath my nose and inner corners of my eyes. I'm going to be using this pinkish tone to cover up any under eye darkness. I'm using the lighter skin concealer to cover any uneven tones in my face, as well as using it to blend out the green concealer. The last shade I'll be using is this yellow color to cover up any of my beauty marks so that they are less visible. Now that the concealer is finished, the next product I'll be using is the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Foundation. I'm just applying a small dot to the back of my hand like so, and then I'm going to be dotting it all over my face and using my fingers to distribute the product. Right here you can see my son coming in to check in on me. He sometimes comes in and watches me put my makeup on, which he also tries to get into my makeup quite a bit. Now that all of our liquid and cream makeup is put on, we're going to be using the NYX HD Fashion Powder. I'm going to be using a completely brush to set my makeup. A camera angle change. We are going to be using the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer as a primer for our eyeshadow. Here I'm putting it underneath my eyes as well. Here I'm using a Coastal Scents Fluffy Brush. I'm going to be using a medium brown out of this revealed palette. I'm using sweeping motions to apply it to my crease and slightly above it. I'm also going to be blending it slightly. Now that we have our transition color, we are going to be moving on to our darker colors. Here is a dark brown that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be concentrating this color mainly in the outer corners of my eyes and blending it out. Being sure not to bring the color past the midway point of my eye. And here I am dropping eyeshadow on the floor. <laughs> Next, I'm going to be using this dark burgundy color for the other half of my eye, slightly blending it into the darker brown shade. And then going back with my transitional color and blending out the harsh edges. Next, I'm taking this black LA Colors Eyeliner Brow Pencil and applying it to my upper inner waterline, being sure not to poke out your eye like I did. <laughs> Next, we're going to be applying the eyeliner to the upper lash line and slightly above. The eyeliner pencil wasn't going on as smoothly as I wanted it to, so I used a small detail brush and the NYX gel liner and smudger. Next, I'm going to be taking a dense flat brush so that I can apply this black color from the Coastal Scents palette over the liner. This is to give better color payoff and to smudge out the liner a little bit. We are 
we're going back to the dreaded eyeliner so that we can put it on the bottom waterline. We will also be smudging this out below the lower lash line. I apologize for this bad shot, but this is where I take the black eyeshadow and smudge out the line. Here I'm applying the dark brown shadow from the outer corner into about halfway. And another crappy shot by me, but this is where I'm taking the burgundy shade from about the inner corner to midway. I'm taking a transitional color again on the fluffy blender brush and blending out the bottom colors. Here I'm just doing some additional blending to make sure that the edges aren't too harsh. Now it's time for brows. I'm going to be taking this small angled brush and using the NYX Pain and Frame Brown Pomade in the shade Brunette. I'm going to be taking this pomade and drawing a line across the bottom part of my eyebrow. Next, I will be drawing another line on the top part of my eyebrow. I take a little bit more of the tame and frame on my brush and then fill in the rest of my eyebrow. Next is taking your spoolie and working the product further into the eyebrow. This helps them maintain a better shape. The type of mascara I'll be using is the NYX with Chick Flick waterproof mascara. Using the brush, I'm starting at the base of the eyelashes and working my way up. Since I have longer lashes, it's easier for me to get mascara on my eyelids, so sometimes I like to take the mascara and apply it downwards on the tips of my eyelashes and then working from the base upwards. Still haven't found a trick like that for my bottom lashes though. So that's it for the eyes. We'll be moving on to the lips and then we'll be done with our 90s fringe look. What I'm doing for the lips is I'm taking my rub on concealer and sizing my lips. You can be done there, but usually I like a little bit more color to my lips. So I'm going to be using this Bare Mineral Lipstick in the shade Do It All. All I'm really doing is I'm taking a little bit onto my fingertip and putting it over the concealer. That's it for my 90s grunge look. Thanks for watching you guys. Bye!